So the Birders Show is here in Israel, taking part in the 2023 Champions of the Flyway. Well, let's not. It's a crazy 24-hour race around the deserts of southern Israel in search of as many birds as possible. Teams from all over the world raising money to protect migratory birds. Oh, look at it! This year we're racing to protect the red-breasted goose. We're going to be all over the southern deserts of the Negev, running around like crazy, trying to get over 100 birds if we can. Fuck okay. yeah! Good job, bro. Look at this. Oh shit, that's Sandra, Sandra. Fucking hell, Sandra. Nice. It's a friendly race, it's all for conservation. It's a good cause, it's a beautiful excuse, you know, birds connect us, everyone. No, no, is that a crack? Yeah, got it. Okay guys, so I'll be live Instagramming and tweeting our Champions of the Flyway efforts. We're heading out, it's just after 3.30 a.m. We've got a two and a bit hour drive to Yellowham Lake, starting up Champions of the Flyway. And we are trying to figure out all the Hebrew, you know, impossible things to get gas. And Santi, our videographer, is like, hey, what about this bird that is making noise? And that's our first bird of the champions of the flyway. It's gonna be an incidental checklist. How sparrow, at least 10 birds calling there. It's incidental, four of us. And then we choose whatever we are of that. And our first bird for champions of the flyway, submit. Voila. Holy shit. You hear it? You hear it? I'm not joking. Yep. Fuck yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Long it out. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Fuck cool. yeah. <laughs> they lose. They just landed in the Jeroham Park. This is our first stop. We are the Egyptian Nigers. We have to reach for at least 40 species in this lake. So let's do like a finger crossed and let's try to see some more. <laughs> you know, we're of course expecting from earlier down song chorus is a little tougher for us. Several birds are calling and we aren't sure if it's a red warbler, if it's a marsh warbler, if it's a you know. We, we have to rely more on our eyes than on our ears on this event for sure. Bro. Well, I'm full of adrenaline, very excited. We saw some nice birds. Uh, check the lake out and then heading south again. Just got common mina that is an introduced here thing, but we got marsh harrier, gliding watery bird. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Green winged teal. This first day. Wow! What a bird, man. Yes, yeah, a beauty. The green winged teal is un pajara, super linda. Platform. Yeah. yeah, I must be talking about these bushes here for the strike. Oh, <laughs> well done. 
Give us some secrets. Oh, yeah. no birds here. <laughs> we are doing quite well. We started at midnight. Zero. A little Zero. bit. Zero. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. Uh, yeah, you too. You. It's a pleasure to be here in Yerucham and to look for birds. We started here at about 6.15, 6.30. Okay, so we're finishing up our first major stop at Yeruham Lake. I think we're in our in the mid 30s for species. It's a pretty good start. Like we had some we had some good birds that we can only expect to get here, like Syrian woodpecker and um, great tit and stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, we had little on, uh, little grebe, little here. grebe, yeah, which was good. Purple our herons. first green winged teal, um, purple herons. We've had some good birds. Uh, we're going pretty well, but there's a a lot of race to be run. So we're off next spot. There's a perch trapped in the tree. What the hell are you Holy shit, there's a jackal? A huge jackal, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's a German Shepherd. Oh. <laughs> Someone's dog. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be like a theme of this part of the race, probably. We're driving through the desert and so we're having to kind of pull over and stop when we see little birds by the side of the road. We just got uh, a new warbler for our list. So yeah, let's do it. There's a good stop already. There's like three new birds right here. Oh, the fucking shrike. Cool. So, cool short stop, Haro campsite, just, you know, like a last minute piece of information and we got mask strike so you know every stop like even in this type of habitat pretty pretty open pretty i mean you wouldn't if you weren't local you wouldn't stop here it's producing good birds three additions three pipits three additions to our list that's good You gotta love this, like groups of kids. They're with a professor that is driving, but they're by themselves. And yeah. they're like 10, 12. I mean, they're super cute. And they're really serious into birding. So, black star. Yeah, and pallid swifts. Oh, there's a the Zeist? Yeah, that, that was from the Zeist team. So let's go hang out with them. So one of the nice things about uh, Champions of the Flyway is that it's a really collaborative uh, bird race. People share their sightings, they share their information. No one's really keeping it to themselves. If they do, it's kind of, you know, not good form. So we've come here to the Ben Gurion Memorial Park, this incredible open vista of the desert. It's a great place for raptors. And one of the teams was sharing information of white storks and a pelican, crazily enough, down in the valley below, showing us where the griffin vultures are roosting on the cliffs over there and we're waiting for the sun to come up and hopefully get some some Benelli's eagles maybe uh, would be nice and uh, and then tour the little bit of the lawns and the gardens hoping for things like hoopoo and rye neck uh, we're going well so far um, we're making good time the kind of thing about this race is, is as much about the timing as the birding because if you don't get to the right places at the right moments then you miss certain birds that you won't get anywhere else but we're going well the white white the storks have started to fly a little bit you know thermaling in the hot air so we're hoping for the raptors to also show up <laughs> what the fuck? So we stopped at uh, this little park next to a football pitch on the Mitzvah Ramon roundabout. See if we can get maybe a flycatcher fly catcher or something like that. We are basically parasitizing the Ooh. Penduline tits, the Swarovski team, or these young guys. Because they know there is a wheat here in this area that we didn't have idea. So basically, the strategy worked. This guy knew a very good place for a bird. Black, black something with ear. Yeah, yo, poo poo. Confirm. We 
followed the Swarovski Penduline Tits team and uh, they've led us to our kids. three new birds. We had our first hopo of the day, we had a, a rhinec and uh, we had the Wheatear as well. So that's four new birds for this stop for the day. One thing that we can't do without here is our coffee and I am coming super prepared with my Colombian coffee to make the team a little cup of coffee here in the desert. Bird is show field Americano. Oh, it's bueno, America. It's very good. We got uh, our first Egyptian vulture of the day, which was very sorely missed and needed. So we basically needed to get it here, I think. So that's good. And a spectacled warbler, which was our first of the trip actually so far. So that's nice. No bad news. I have to go back. Your feet. Your feet. Your feet. I'm thinking where the fuck it is. Chris is busy with the with here, but you know, I was just getting photos of my scope that I left behind anywhere in the road. And that's the, you know, the, the spirit of Champions of the Flyway. They found it and someone is bringing it. They basically saved my ass. That was one of our best sources of information. Swarovski Penaline Tips and another group. They really think like we are, you know, competition for them. And they share, you know, the first two times, but we, we became so klepto parasitic that they, they are now not even saying good. The thing is, it's not, it's not even intentional. Like we've just sort of, we've fallen into a rhythm where they're stopping with us. And they're a good birder, so when they stop, we stop because they must have something good, right? The thing is that we're not strong competition. They could win. We're not going to win, but they don't know that. And that's, they, just, they just read on the chat that I lost my scope and they, they, they just spit in me in the face like you Colombian. Child, you know. <laughs> so we're uh, in this kind of middle stretch, the midday heat stretch, where we're driving through the Hameshar Plains, which is kind of this rocky, dry desert area. Not super productive in terms of numbers, but there's some key birds here that we can't really get anywhere else. It's going well. I have no idea what number we've got because we're doing sort of separate eBird lists. And we'll do a trip report at the end of it. But Diego, what would you say we're on if you had to take a guess? 60 something? Yeah, I was going to say late 60s, maybe early 70s. Probably. Yeah, probably. something like that. We're, we're doing well. We're doing well. Look at this. There's a raptor over there. Look at this fucking landscape. Look at this. There's two Look. raptors. Look. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I saw, I saw that so, 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 something wrong. Yeah, so like, uh, thank you very much. Bird, 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 bird. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Should we drive along? Okay, so we've come to the famous ice cream spot in Yodvata. Chocolate caliente or crema? <laughs> this is the, the reward of birding for too much hours. So we're searching for the sangras. I'm really good at calling this type of birds. Like, I have like the, the magic touch. Oh, look at it! Oh shit, that's sangras, sangras. Fucking hell, sangras. Nice. Eso. That's a beautiful bird. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, you go, go Bill turns up there, flying across. You see the fort? Yeah. When you go to Rome, you do what they do in Rome. So you got some falafel, some nice kiwis, and this is probably the best lunch that any of the teams, Champions of the Flyway, is having. Mm. <laughs> See my mom. Great, really, really great place to stop. <laughs> Oh, we can show you one bird then. We have stolen so many birds from you guys. Sniper? Sniper? He found it, he thinks. They're not that well liked. I mean, like, because the whole event really is about race. So now we're at the, uh, the running stage. We've probably got about an hour and a half, maximum two hours before we want to be at North Beach. Okay, it's the home stretch. Ferruginous duck, that's the first one we've had today. So yeah, every time we start, we're getting a couple of new species. That's going well. No, great, uh, great heron. Fuck yeah. Day. Good job, bro. Have one hour, guys. We can push more. Let's push. Let's push. Let's push more birds. Just arrived at the bird park in a lap. This is the final push, and uh, it's weird. I mean, I think everyone's kind of tired. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just the birding adrenaline. I feel fine. I feel pretty energetic. I think probably I'll crash later, but for now, I'm perfecto. So go get yellow. Yeah, let's wait till I go to see my wife. Okay, okay. Thank you so the much. The second lake, you will for sure see Thank you, thank you very much. It. That was lovely. Thank you. So this is the camaraderie of the champions of the flyway. Noah, the director of the Elias Bird Watching Center here, is just, you know, showing birds to people. We just got mangrove heron. He's been sitting there like for the whole day. And it's, you know, it's great help. It's great help. We never, we never will have found that one, huh? Something's all a lifer for you? Yeah, everything is a lifer for me here. So, countable now. Check. So we both have to see and confirm the bird for it to count. So I saw it before, but the rule says if I see it and then Diego sees it later, it can go on the list. It combines no. to, be, to be one. So it's right now, boom, 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 uh, one minute to six. We have like 30 minutes of light. And we finished temporarily in the park because we we're going to the beach, trying to get us a skua, a couple of gulls. White eyed gull, yeah. Uh, Maybe a surprise, you never know. There yeah. could be something. There's going to be a lot of birds there. It could it's be like a hundred birds. False, there. false killer whales or something like that. Ooh, <laughs> That's going to be neat. Very cool. Egyptian geese and lesser white fronted. Flying right. Um, they were flying Point low left. through the trees. It's been a, a fantastic day. I think it's got up to about 35 degrees. So this afternoon's been hard, not many birds. And you've got people from all over the world here, all raising money for conservation. The community's great. Hey, how you doing? Good job. So we didn't uh, use any vehicles, we just Walked on foot uh, all day. Is now uh, we are exhausted. Most important is connection, meeting different people, knowing different species. That is amazing. I think Champions thrives on the fact that uh, there's new people, there's new teams, there's a new community, kind of forming all the time. Yes. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Guys. Cheers, Cheers, guys! Cheers, Cheers guys! Cheers, Santi! It was a great day. Okay, so we've come back to the Eilat Ornithological Park. We finished birding up at North Beach. We've had a few beers. 
And here, what the end of Champions of the Flyway is, is that there's a bunch of judges, everyone shows their lists, and they question you on maybe some of the trickier birds just to make sure that you've definitely seen them. And we don't know how many birds we've seen today yet because you're yeah. encouraged to collate all the checklists after sunset, so we haven't done it yet. What did you say? 102. You said 102. I said 100. 107. 117. Okay. And Santi? What did you say? 122. Santi said 122. 122. Okay, so I'm going to refresh our trip report here. And we recorded today. I think, I think Santi's going to win. We're going to okay. have like 100 and 118 ah! <laughs> species. <laughs> It's time for our test. We sit down with, with Jonathan, who's one of the main organizers, the main organizer of Champions. He's going to go over our list and make sure that we definitely saw all the birds that we reported. Well, Bill turns were K20. Yeah. Nice closing the series of B eaters. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, you're clean. I can tell you that you're not in first place. I can already tell you that you're not last either. So yeah! yeah. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't come last. We're not last. <laughs> They're clapping for us? <laughs> we left this hotel at, what was it, 3.30 a.m.? It's nearly 9.30. This guy's tired. Yeah. He filmed a lot of birds. <laughs> I still have a surprising amount of energy. I might have a beer, but we're done. Champions of the Flyway 2023. Yeah. Diego's here as well. Over there now. How's it going, right, guys? Anyway. Welcome everyone to the 2023 Champions of the Flyway Closing Ceremony. Birding and the birding community really shows that uh, it doesn't matter where you're from, how old you are, how serious you are, boy, girl, anything in between, a religious, secular, Muslim, Christian, Jew, it doesn't really matter, we're all together in this. And we wanted, uh, with our friends at Coa Sporting Optics, to do our little bit as well as the fundraising to give geese a chance. So we have a present for you guys to take back to Kazakhstan to help with your we monitoring, want, your work, and you everything to like use that. This so this, to work you saved it yesterday, guys, and now okay. it's for you guys to take back. <laughs> 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 yeah, good promise. Fair, fair play, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.